Congratulations on completing the task and on writing the program to simulate the compound Poisson process. In the next task, you're going to work, go back to working on something considerably simpler than a compound Poisson process. In particular, we are going to write a program to simulate a three-state three continuous time Markov chain that has a transition graph, like the one shown on this slide. For this chain, states 0 and 1 are both transient, while state 2 is absorbing. What we are thus interested in when we model a chain such as the one as this one is the time that it takes to transition from state 0 to state 2. It is easy to write a program to generate random variables from the distribution of times that it takes to go from state 0 to state 2. The time to transition from state 0 to state 1 is an exponential random variable x1. Furthermore, the time that it takes to transition from state 1 to state 2, x2, is also an exponential random variable. The total time that it takes to transition from state 0 to state 2, y, is thus equal to the sum of two exponential random variables as shown here. For the next exercise, I would thus like you to write a program that generates pairs of exponential random variables and adds them together. From the samples that you generate, I would like, to I would like you to calculate a sample mean and some confidence limits on your estimate of the sample mean. Good luck.